In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you the best way to scrape YouTube in NA10 by scraping the these channels right here by their username and getting all these statistics, as well as scraping their most popular videos and putting them into this spreadsheet and also getting how well each video is performing based on the average video uh, view counts on the each channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by just first show how the workflow works. So I click test workflow. We are going to get the data into this spreadsheet right here inside of this spreadsheet. As you can see here, we have all the we have the channel name, the uh, channel ID, which is which is super important when we are going to fetch each video for the channel. Also, the video count, subscriber, total uh, views, uh, average views per video, which is also super important. As I said, when we're going to see how well each of the most popular videos perform based on this average per view video. And also views per sub, which is basically how many views each channel needs to get a new subscriber. And also we have fetched all of the uh, videos or the five most popular videos from each channel. And we also have the outlier score, which is basically how well this video performs based on the average view count for each video on that channel, which is super nice because you can use that to basically get, you know, find your, uh, your own uh, video ideas if you are in this niche. Obviously this works for any niche, so I'm just using fitness as an example. But what you can also do is actually make this into a table. So if you do like this, click on and right click and convert to table. We can actually get the outliers, the best outliers by clicking here and then going to a sort column and from Z to A. As you can see, now we have the uh, best performing titles right here. So who is stronger, top three fake night is, I snuck in as a competitor and you can use this basically to create your own YouTube videos. So we are going to jump straight into our N8 and workflow and start uh, creating. So the first thing you need is actually a this spreadsheet right here with the usernames. So you just need to make a spreadsheet with uh, with usernames, uh, channel usernames, which you find by going to the channel. Uh, if we can just go to Renada, Renaissance Paradise Station right here. Uh, as you can see up here, you have the channel username. So you can just copy that and then put it into a, a Google Sheet and do that for all the channels you want. You have as your competitors, you want to find videos uh, or channels that are in your niche space. So now I'm going to show you how you can build this out for yourself. So the first thing we need to do is just drag this little trigger down here. We can just throw away that connection. We want to connect to a Google Sheets node. So we can just search for Google and we will find, we can just search for Google. There we go, find Google Sheets. We want to get rows in Sheets. Now what we want to do is we want to connect our Google Ads account, our Google Sheets account. So you can just click on create new credential in here and you can just connect sign in with Google and you want to just let Google uh, edit or let uh, and then edit your Google Sheets. What we want to do is we want to get rows and we want to find that from our list. So mine is in YouTube, uh, YouTube competitor analysis and my sheet was fitness. We would don't want to click into that. We would just want to use fitness. There we go. We just want to click on test step to see what we get from that. By the way, we just don't want to have any of this data right here now. We want to place that data in ourselves in this tutorial. So we just take that away and we try that again, test that step again. There we go. Now we just have the channel usernames. Beautiful. So the next thing we need to do is we need to use a HTTP request. HTTP request, there we go. So for the URL, we're going to use the YouTube API by placing in uh, googleapis.com slash youtube slash v3 slash search. We're going to send some parameters. So we're going to first so, so first of all, send a, a query parameter, which is going to be the username that we got from the Google Sheets. Because now we're going to fetch the, uh, as you can see, we want to fetch the channel ID of each channel because that is what we're going to use to fetch the, final, the channel statistics. So we're going to try to fetch that by saying that as the query. And we want to have the type of search set to channel. And we want to have the max results of results, max results set to one. There we go. And we want to have a, and we want to have a part of snippet, part of snippet. There we go. And we want to add our API key, which I will show you how you can find it. So just type in key and we will go to uh, Google uh, or console.cloud.google.com. And in here, you want to create a new app. Once you've done that, up in here, you can create a new app. Once you've done that, you can just click on APIs and services. And in here, you want to come down to the library and you want to find the YouTube data API v3. And you just want to enable that uh, by clicking on enable right here. Once you've done that, you can come back to this uh, site right here, come back to the APIs and services, and you want to go to OAuth Concentrine. 
and you want to create a new app. So I'm just going to show you how you can do that by clicking on edit app. Uh, so you just want to name your app, whatever, and you want to have your own Gmail as your support email. And then you want to have edit.cloud as your authorized domain. And then you can click on continue. And then you, you just want to click on add or remove scopes. And you just want to uh, add all the scopes. So just click on rows per list to 100, per page to 100, and then just add all of them. And then click on update. Once you've done that, you can move on to the next page. And then you, you can just add yourself as a test user and save and continue. Once you're done with that, you are good to go. So you can come now to credentials. And in here, let me just turn on my camera again. There we go. In here, you can find your API key by clicking on uh, this little API key right here. You might need to click on this API key and then you'll find your API key. Copy that, head back over to your NHN scenario, and then you can paste your API key in here. So I just went ahead and did that now. So I'm going to test this step. As you can see, we got the five channels that we wanted from our list in our Google Sheets. So we're going to use this channel ID right here in the next step because we're going to make another HTTP request again to the YouTube API. And now we're going to get the channels by pasting in this URL right here, the channels API. We are going to add some query parameters here. The first one being part snippet. And we're also going to get statistics. And we're also going to get uh, content details. There we go. And we want to add another parameter. And in here, we want to fetch the channel by the ID. So we can uh, just click on ID. We want to use the, let me see, we want to use the channel ID here. And then the last thing we're going to do is we are going to, again, use our API key. So just click on key and then paste in your API key. I'm going to paste in mine. We're going to test this step right now. And as you can see, we got the five items we wanted. We got Jesse James channel. We got Renaissance periodization. With, as you can see now, we have some statistics we can use, such as uh, we have view counts, subscriber counts, hidden subscriber counts, <laughs> video counts, etc., etc., which is super nice because now we can use that to paste that into the Google Sheets. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to add a Google Sheets node where we're going to add those statistics. Uh, if we just find Google with two O's, Google, Google Sheets, and we want to update, uh, update row in Sheets. And we want to find the sheet we just used to get these or to get the channel usernames. So that was YouTube competitor analysis. And also it was in sheet fitness. What we want to do is we want to set the, let me see, set the channel username. We don't need to set that. Uh, or we can just say, we can just throw it away or we can set it to the, or we can just set it to this custom URL, uh, which is the same as the channel ID or the channel username. And for the channel name, we obviously need to have this title right here. And for the link, what you can do is in the link is you can actually, as you can see here from the YouTube link, you actually just need the uh, YouTube URL here. And then we want to have the, like this, this is going to be an expression. And then we want to have the custom URL after that link or after that URL, just like this. And then for the channel ID, we want to find the ID right here. For the video account, We'll just see for a video count, we need to come all the way down to statistics here and we want to find the video count and we want to find the subscriber count and also the, what was the next one? Total views. Then we want to set average views per video, which is going to be an interesting one because the thing is we are going to set uh, the view count here, but we're going to do a little calculation. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of code. You don't need to know how to code, but just say math dot round. And then you want to set it to view count and then split that by the number of videos. So you just need to say, set the video counts after here. There we go. And now we just need to end that parenthesis. We started with the math dot round and that parenthesis. Now, as you can see, we have a green input right here. So this is going to calculate the amount of videos or amount of views uh, split by the, or divided by the amount of videos, which is going to be the average uh, view counts. As you can see here, we get two th over 2 million views per video for Jesse James, which is uh, <laughs> really impressive. So for the views per sub, we are going to do something similar. We can just copy that. 
and paste that in here. So what we can do now is we can add that as an expression as well. So what we can do is we can say how many views uh, do you get per sub. So instead of saying using the video count here, we can just use the subscriber count. So we can paste that in here, just in there. There we go. As you can see, he gets uh, a subscriber for each 338 views he gets on his channel. Now we can test this step. And as you can see, we got a little error here because we forgot to match on, because we need to match the uh, row number, as you can see if you scroll down here, to row number. We need to match that row number to the row number we got from Google Sheets when we uh, fetched the usernames. So we need to find the row number and just drag that in here. Then now I can click on the test step. And as you see, now we got the data out and we can look at our Google Sheets and we now have the statistics in place. Really nice. Okay, so now we can go ahead and use these channels to fetch their most popular videos. So what we need to do is we need to grab a new HTTP request. Again, we weren't going to call the YouTube API. And in here, we can call this just uh, get videos. Get videos, rename that. Now we can use the URL, which is going to be uh, the search uh, API. And we are going to send some parameters again. And now we're going to get the snippets. There we go. And we need to set this and order this by view count. So we can set order by view counts. There we go. And we also need to say that we want the max results to be five because we only want the five most uh, viewed videos. You can set this to whatever you would like. And we also want the channel ID. If you say channel ID here, channel ID to be the channel ID we got from the last Google Sheets. So that is the channel ID right here. Drag that in there. And then obviously for the last parameter, we need to set our API key. So you can just say key. And then you want to uh, paste in your API key right here. And I just needed to change my channel ID to be an underscore, not a, a channel and big I and D. And then we got the correct output right here. As you can see, we got the five most popular videos for each of those channels. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a new HTTP request. You can search for HTTP again. And then we want to now connect to the YouTube API once again. We're now going to use the videos API and send some parameters. And now we're going to send the part called both snippet and statistics. Snippet and statistics. There we go. And we are going to send the ID of the video. So we're going to find the ID in here for each of those videos. So you could actually make a loop with this, but we're not going to do that when we only have uh, five items. We don't need to. Uh, so the ID, you can say, find a video ID right here. And as I said, if you do have more than five items, you can, can just make a loop. But for now, we'll just copy this and we will just paste it in four times so that we get the five items. Zero, one, two, three, and at last we have number four. So once we do this and we add our API key in here, so we can just say key. Now we'll add my API key. Now we can test this step. As you can see, we now got more data on each of those videos, which is super nice. As you can see down here, we got view count, like count, comment count, etc., which is something we are going to use for our statistics and data analysis in our Google Sheets. So what we can do now is we can actually add a split out node. So you can just search for split. We want to split out those items. So you can just say items and drag that in here. And we want to split them out. Now I can just test this step immediately. And as you can see, we now have 25 items, which is the five videos for each of those five channels. So what we can do now is we can use the, these items to just place them back into the Google Sheet. So I just need to basically just remove all of these uh, videos in here, just like that. And now we can go back to the YouTube scraper and we can just add a Google Sheets node here. And we can just say that we want to append a row in Sheets. And I want to add it to the videos uh, sheet and in the fitness sheet in that document. So now what I want to do is I want to set the title to be the title of the video. As you can see here from the split out, we have each video split out. So we've got the uh, video title right here and we got the views down here let's see if we got the views all the way down here so we got the view count 
There we go. We got the like counts. There we go. We got the comment counts. And we also now need to get the outlier. So that is basically, we, I just need to turn my camera on again. Sorry about that. Now to get the outlier, we actually want to find, use the average views per video we got from earlier. So first of all, we can set the view count in here. And then we want to split that, basically just split that by the average views for each video. And then we'll find how much of an outlier or outperformer this video is. So we're just going to say average views per video and place that in here together with the view count. What we're going to do now is we are going to not use method round because we want actually want a, a decimal at the end because we don't want it to be like either one, two, three, or four, etc. We want to have a 2.4, 1.8, or 13.4, etc. So to do that, we can just uh, set this in the parentheses like I just did. Uh, again, it's view count divided by the average views per video and set that in parentheses and then say uh, point to fixed with a big F and then parentheses. And now this should, if we just take away the last parentheses there in and have it in an expression, this should work out. As you can see here, we now got the 67 uh, outlier from the first video. And uh, the reason we got 67, not 67 uh, points, whatever, is because we need to set one in here to get a one decimal. There you go. As you can see, if you set like three in here, you get three decimals. So we just want to set one decimal. And for the channel, we want to find the channel uh, title, which we can find from the video here. Let me see, Jesse James West. There we go. Now I can test this step. Let's see what we get. And we got some results. Let's check in the uh, Google Sheet. As you can see, we now have the 25 videos and we can sort them by Z, Z to A for the outliers. If you enjoyed this great YouTube in an edit and scenario, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.